my um, snow peas are finally getting up out of the ground and starting to climb the fence here that I've put in the panelling. So, just quickly show you the, them, and then there's another lot on this side as well, which are up out of the ground. There's obviously a lot of weeds and grass and stuff in there, but then I've also planted this side. <coughs> um, I've just got to keep the water up to them, I guess, so they grow. But I'll just come back, duck around here and show you what I've done. Um, I've obviously got rocket here, along the front. Now that'll get a bit of shade from the sun, the snow peas when they're up. Um, this little end piece here is just bok choy, basically. And I just use it as an infill plant because they grow well pretty much in very close quarters to other things that you can see I've only planted them there's three inches apart sort of thing and they grow really well but I've got them in multiple places there's a couple over there as well you can see and then you can see I'm starting seeds in those trays and um, getting garden beds ready for the end crop sorry I was truck coming back um yeah, getting this garden bed over that way finished off for the end of winter. You can see there's a bit of grass in there. These grasses fill, just let it break down. And I'm doing the same sort of thing just here as well. Dig down, lay all your garden waste in the bottom, and then just let it break down. Like put a, cover it with soil and let it break down for two or three months. Like this here, I probably won't use this till uh, summer here so we only really get two seasons we get winter and summer basically so it's really hot through um start of autumn and the end of spring and it's really cold through the end of autumn and into the start of spring so yeah it's good weather but limits your growing season through summer because it's really really hot